Hey beautiful souls, welcome to another reading. Um, so, as always, <laughs> uh, we are letting the oracle cards decide what uh, our topic is for today, or what our theme is. I'm having a hard, <laughs> a hard time with these intros, because I used to, you know, say, hey, welcome to Divine Healing Path, yada yada spiritual and personal transformation all that stuff and now I'm like uh what do I say <laughs> so these readings are timeless so whenever you come across it this reading is for you and I also would like to say if it doesn't make sense it doesn't resonate please don't force the messages because you're only gonna confuse yourself and uh, it really sucks when you leave a reading that you've like tried to force upon yourself and you just leave confused. It's it's not a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see your topic. Sorry, let me shuffle these again. Okay, I'm having issues here. bent one back there okay you want to come up success already so you may be moving into a period of success victory but we'll get into the tarot and see what this is I feel like this could be anything but I feel like this is a time to celebrate your success. You you may have achieved or you're on your way to achieving something big, something you, you've worked hard for. So let's see what the tarot has to say about this success. I'm not one of those readers that can shuffle super fast and the cards go flying plus I don't trust because I have a giant candle here and I'm I'm pretty clumsy so <laughs> I would probably set my cards on fire okay we have strength yes okay you are stepping into your strength this may have been something that you need to find within yourself uh, this is tied to Leo energy as well that may resonate for some of you you may have Leo in your charts but I feel like with that strength card you have worked really hard for your success it is taking a lot of strength a lot of courage a lot of willpower and even just making a choice to move forward we have the Queen of Wands yes you are passionate and fiery moving forward stepping into that Queen of Wands energy. You know what you want and you go for it. Queen of Cups. And I see you very, I see you guys um, also moving towards your success and this goal with, it's like you're well balanced. And I feel like you also, not only do you use your drive and your passion, but I feel like your emotions also are what drives you to find that strength to move forward. So you are a very fiery and passionate person, but you're also very nurturing and loving and you follow, I feel like you really follow your heart and your intuition. We have two here. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles, you may have in the past felt like you were out in the cold and um, what led to you finding your own strength was possibly dealing with some trauma and feeling abandoned or not know where you're going feeling a bit lost but I feel like an opportunity coming in for you 
as well. Um, it's like this energy here, this feeling loss, helped you find your strength and reminded you of your passion and your drive and your emotions is what drives you. We have the Ace of Cups here coming up. And I like that it has a crow because crows are messengers as well. So pay attention to your emotions and the messages you are receiving. Uh, if you, a crow may be your, or is that raven? I don't, I kind of get them mixed up. I know they look a bit different. I believe this is a crow, but if pay attention to, this may be a spirit animal of yours that's coming through to give you a message. If I have one pop out, no, I didn't sound it like it did. And this is also about filling up your own cup. And I do see that with success. But this may be like a new emotionally fulfilling offer that's coming in. But I'm not getting so much other people involved here. I feel like this energy is all yours. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, this, uh, this offer here is coming after a period of rest and relaxa relaxation, rejuvenation, tending to yourself, taking care of yourself, which also represents the Ace of Cups as well. The Ace of Cups is taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, self-care, self-love. We have two two cards and okay. So we have the justice and the three of swords. So I feel like the success what I am getting here for this is I feel like you're the type of person, like I said, like you, you're driven by your fire and your emotions. And I feel like some of you may be artists, um, maybe you're into writing poetry or whatever it is, but I'm getting kind of like, you use that pain, you use that heart, that heartbreak, uh, as a reminder of what you're working towards. It's almost like that. You know how like artists or musicians will write songs about breakups or their their personal their painful personal experiences and that's what the that's the that's what they create from that's where they draw their creativity and i feel like that's that is where you're drawing your success from is using your own personal, painful personal experiences, anything that has uh, hurt you and your, it's like the, with the justice, you're balancing the scales, you're learning, you're learning to master and accept the pain of the past. You're learning to work with it. You're learning to, was it, dance with the shadow side? So this is very beautiful energy that's coming through. And again, I feel like the spear guide, the raven or crow is com coming through here to give you a message. And I feel like this message is continue to use that, uh, Use what's working for you. Use the tools that's working for you. That passion, that drive. Um, I feel like using your emotions really benefits you. It's a good, it's a good thing. So if you've ever been told that you're too emotional, uh, that's BS. Because I feel that's where you draw your strength and your creativity. And you know what? Utilize that. You're doing great. 
So this is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated, be sure to give it a like and claim the reading for yourself. If you enjoy free readings, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here and it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next reading. Thanks. Bye.